Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HC. This is video 26, and today we're talking about the modulation matrix. So let's go to a new preset. And down here on the bottom right, we have MM1 through 12 and MM13 through 24. So quite a lot here. So let's select the 1 through 12. And this is basically the spot where we can set up any kind of modulation that we would like and have a little bit more control over things. So for example here, we have two knobs and then we have this none. So the first one is going to be depth, the second one's going to be via, and this little rectangle box is going to be our target. So similar in Hive, kind of how we drag from the crosshair, we kind of click and drag here, and we can choose different parameters that we would like to have modulated. So for this demonstration, let's go to the tune, right? And for the first one, this depth, right, is basically setting the bipolar amount or the bipolar modulation amount, which is very important. We're going to come back to that in just a little bit. But it sets the bipolar modulation amount of the parameter tied to the target, which is tune in this case. So let's select a modulation source like envelope two, and let's give it some depth here. So we have some pitch modulation going on here. Cool. So basically in this situation, it's kind of like we select this none here and then we select envelope two and then give us some depth. It's basically the same thing going on here. However, the difference in this case is that we has, have this via knob, which is interesting because it's a secondary modulation or modulation source that controls how much of this depth actually reaches its target. So for example, let's say we have something like this going on and we select mod wheel over here. Now, if it's all the way, if our mod wheel is all the way at the bottom, then this envelope is not going to have any effect. If we have our mod wheel all the way at 100%, then this modulation amount, this depth that we have right here, is going to be at its full value. So it's kind of a cool way to have a, a full range of modulation and have a different parameter basically control how much of that depth actually affects its target. Very cool concept in that sense. Something that I do want to mention, though, before we move on to the bipolar stuff, that negative amounts scale the modulation amount from 100 to 200%. So be a little bit careful with that if you're kind of going into the negative territories there. So this comes from the manual, and I do feel like this is worth mentioning. So in this case, like we're doing pitch modulation, sometimes we want to do things, you know, in intervals, in octaves, in fifths, and stuff like that. So what we do have to keep in mind is if we look at these knobs here and we look all the way to the right, we have a value of 100, right? But we have 96 semitone range. So we have to do a little bit of math if we want to modulate something specifically, right? So in this case, this envelope two is a unipolar signal, right? It doesn't go into negative territories. It just starts at a certain area, it goes up, and then it comes back down. However, LFOs go bipolar, right? They go in the positive territory and into the negative territory. So that being the case, if that's a bipolar modulation source, that's going to be 200 values, right? Negative 100 to positive 100. So we have to keep that in mind. And this is all going to make sense here in just a second. So let's say for this, is, for this example, we have envelope two. So let's get our sustain up all the way, give us a little bit of attack, right? And if, if we want to go up one octave, for example, right? The math that we have to do and kind of think in our head is that if it's 96 semitone range and mapped over 100 steps, then it's basically going to be 12.5. So let's double click this here, hold down shift for some fine values, so actually get to 12 first, and then hold shift and go to 12.5 here. It's a little bit faster. Let's increase our attack. So the first note I'm hitting is basically the first root note. And then this modulation, since it's 12.5, is actually going up one octave. And there's me just hitting the next note and removing that modulation so we can confirm that it is indeed one octave. So keep in mind, it's 12.5 for this value for one octave. For seven semitones, which we do pretty often for a perfect fifth, it's going to be 7.29. So get out your notepad, or maybe you might just remember this and have it in your head. Or if you want to go one semitone, it's going to be 1.04. So a little bit of math, it's, it's kind of, you know, you have to kind of think about it a little bit, but it all kind of makes sense. So if we are using a bipolar some bipolar modulation source like the LFO, for example, then we're going to basically have to have the value, right? Because we have double the steps or the, basically double the value, 200 steps instead of 100. So we have to half that, right? So yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, hopefully you learned something and we will see you in the next video.